Barack Obama was born August 4th, 1961, Honolulu, Hawaii, and his parents broke up and he stayed with his mom. His father taught Barack how to dance African style. He met Michelle and later he married her. Barack got elected for president and became president later. And they got a Portuguese water dog bow. When Michelle was a little girl, Michelle loved tube hooping and she also played piano. She also went to law school. Michelle loved to garden. She worked to be an actor when she became the first lady. She made a rule to not film her daughters. She said to her mom she needs help taking care of her daughters in 2010, Michelle started a program called Let's Move Exercise. M Michelle wanted to help military families. Michelle wanted to make a speech to help Barack Obama to get elected to a second term. She was first lady for eight years. Dad loved music and he was too young to go to the parties. Drive to a new team. He moved to New York and Cool Rooks was his nickname. Cool Rooks was rise and the speakers made a big sound. He became a DJ and he made music lots longer by setting up two turntables. Hooks Parties made the game start fighting. Other DJs want to be like hooks. Jackie Robinson was born in 1947, and he was a little poor. Jackie had a tight circle of friends, and they called them the Pepper Street Gang. In 1939, he started college at UCLA and played basketball. The Monarchs want Jackie to join the team. He was the first and only African American on the Dodgers. Hi, I'm Monet. I'm going to tell you about Ruby Bridges. Ruby was born in 1954 in Mississippi. Her father worked at a gas station. She had to take a test to make it into a white-only school. She made it in. When she went to first grade, white moms wouldn't let their kids go to school. Some white people didn't like Ruby going to a white-only school, so she had to be guided by U.S. Marshals. She wrote her first book in 1999. She got her own movie on Disney. Ruby said, racism is a grown-up disease. Let's stop using kids to spread it. In Montgomery Pine Level, Rosa Parks is born. There is a clan called the Ku Klux Klan. They burned down blacks' houses and churches. It is a hard time for Rosa. One day, Rosa was walking down the sidewalk, but then a white boy on roller skates came zipping by and pushed Rosa. The next time she, he came around, she pushed him back. But the boy's mother was watching, and Rosa got in trouble. But she was brave and stood up for herself. One day Rosa heard that nine black boys were accused of attacking two white women, but they didn't do it. This made Rosa angry. One day, December 1st, 1955, Rosa got on the bus, paid her fare, and sat down. Soon a white man got on the bus, and all the white seats were taken, and the bus driver told Rosa to get up from her seat. Rosa refused and was arrested and was fine with it. Soon after that happened, a bus boycott began. 
the boycott went on for more than a year. When the boycott ended, there was no more segregation on buses. In 1964, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was signed. Now segregation is illegal. In 2005, October 25, Rosa Parks died. She was 92, although she's still remembered to this very day. Sojourner Truth was born as a slave, but Sojourner Truth wasn't even her real name. It's the name she gave herself in her later life. Her real name was Isabella Bumphrey. In 1827, all slaves born before 1800 were freed. That meant Isabella was freed. June 1st, 1843, Isabella decided to change her name to Sojourner Truth. She would also leave New York and become a traveling preacher. In 1845, she started speaking at anti-slavery meetings. So Judith Truth wrote a book, but she didn't know how to write. So she dictated her life to a good, to her good friend Olive Gilbert. They called it the narration of Sir Judith Truth. Wherever she went, Sir Judith Truth talked about why she felt women should be able to vote. She died. She died in 1883. Marian Anderson sings the Kings and Presidents. Marian Anderson sings songs in French, Italian, and German. She sang her favorite songs because they sounded the best. Marian Anderson finally decided she could sing in New York. Some singing experts looked for good singing voices. Marian Anderson was a star every day, and there were huge lines for tickets. In 1939, Marian was not allowed to sing in the Washington, D.C. concert hall. So Marian Anderson sang for Franklin Roosevelt and First Lady. Millions of people heard Marian Anderson sing on the radio, but on live it was 75,000. Marian sang in front of the Lincoln Memorial in 1993, April 8th. Marian died at the age of 96.